Hey guys, really quickly, I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Rock Band is not going to be in this review. I have, as you guys see, purchased Rock Band though for my iPod Touch, so that will be in my app review number 81. This is 80, so make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned until I actually will be able to review that for you guys. Hey guys, what's up? The iPod Kid here. And today we are going to be doing app review number 80, which is going to be my top 5 applications for reviews number 71 through 79. We're going to start this video off with my number 5 application, which is going to be, there we go, um, a 99 cent application, rather cheap actually, AppBox Pro. And what AppBox Pro is, is a slew of applications slapped into one larger application for a small price tag of 99 cents. So you get all these apps right here for 99 cents. Example, you get battery life, uh, that'll show you the battery life on your iPod or iPhone, currency translators, date calculator, loan calculators, you get tip calculators, rulers, translators for different languages, unit measurements, you get a ton of different uh, applications built into this one smaller application, AppBox Pro. Um, so anyway, just to give you an example, let's go to battery life, and it'll bring me to this page right here, and it shows me just a few different specs of my iPod Touch right now. My internet on Wi-Fi, an hour and 45 left, video game, two hours, and audio, 12 and a half hours left. So I go back, and there's a few different settings you can actually do with AppBox Pro, which one that I like to use is have the toolbar selected on. So instead of getting that full page with all the applications, you have this toolbar up at the top, so you can simply just scroll through to the dashboard, and there we go. So now I have an application pulled up. Simply just click on apps. It'll bring up the dashboard one more, or bring up the uh, toolbar one more time, and we can just go to a date calculator. Simple as that. So this is going to be all together called AppBox Pro. I definitely recommend to go check this out. It's only 99 cents, and it's definitely a great utility application to have stored onto your iPod or iPhone. Even if it's not going to be on one of your main screens, just buy it, put it on the back of your device because you're never sure when you're actually going to need to use this. Once again, AppBox Pro, my number five application for 99 cents. My number four app for you guys is Snake Galaxy, which is also, I believe, only $1.99, I believe. Not really sure. Check the annotations up here, though. I will have the price listed there. But what's awesome about this is it takes a very classic arcade-style game, Snake, and puts a really sweet modernized twist on it. So you're going to be playing a very gorgeous 3D version of Snake on your iPod or iPhone. From this main menu you have a few different options. Quick play to start anywhere that you've already unlocked. Missions, which is going to be your single player where you unlock the different stages and planets. And then settings and help. So let's just go into quick play. And there we go. So now we have this music in the background. This is the latest planet that I've unlocked. And you will be using the accelerometer to actually tilt to control your snake. So let's try and... There we go. Okay. Oh, no, you don't use this. I'm sorry. You use finger control. So you do have a completely 360 control of uh, where you're going to be controlling your snake. Or in this case, it looks like a shooting star. And uh, you just drag on the screen anywhere. And you go around and collect these different boxes, which are similar to food particles in the classic version of Snake. And let me point this out, if you guys can't tell already, this app is beautiful. Look at how amazing this application just looks. The 3D graphics, I mean, it's pretty slow right now. You can speed up, though. There you go. And you get really just fantastic frame rate. Uh, it does look very similar to Super Mario Galaxy, I believe, it, or something like that. It was one of those Super Mario games made for the Wii. But it just looks awesome. I know that uh, it's for the iPod Touch and iPhone, and it seems like you're not going to be able to get that really nice controls with such a 3D game, but they did a fantastic job with it. The whole touch screen control scheme where you have complete free range ability to go wherever you like on the screen, definitely recommend that. So, really simple explanation. You're going around, picking up these boxes. Bottom of the screen has your multiplier for every time that you pick up a food particle box. And then the top of the screen shows your points value. If you hit your tail or any obstacle, you will die. Game over. One life, just like the classic game of Snake. Um, so I do recommend to go check this out. Even if you're not really a fan of the classic game of Snake, this modernized twist on it with the whole 3D graphics and the new uh, control scheme definitely brightens up the whole gameplay com um, just completely. Feels like a new game. I definitely love this one. I've had this for a few months now, and I still actually tend to play it because it's a great pick-up-and-play anytime application, and my friends seem to like this one a lot too whenever they play with my iPod, so I definitely recommend this one. This one is going to be once again called Snake Galaxy, I believe $0.99, cents, maybe $1.99. Check the annotations right here. That is my number four application, Snake Galaxy. 
And my number three app for you is going to be called I Am T Pain. And this one I'm sure most of you have heard of. This was one of the top applications for quite a while in the App Store. And what this app will allow users to do is record their voice into the iPod Touch or iPhone. If you have an iPhone, you can just use it straight up. Um, if you have an iPod Touch, you will have to have an external microphone, which will have to plug into your headphone jack down at the bottom of your iPod. Um, so yes, you can use any type of uh, external mic on this, pretty much. But anyway, this is what you're going to be using. Down at the bottom of your HD, you have the mic where you're going to be recording your tunes. So if you want to go to tune, you can change it. Um, and here you go. So we can have it customized, and you can do all these different scales. Or what most people like to do is just switch on. T-Pain, and now you will sound like T-Pain after you record your voice into your device. Down at the bottom still you have beats. You will have pre-installed beats such as Bartender Instrumental, Kiss Kiss Instrumental. There's quite a few of them. All the gray ones are already unlocked. The red ones, as you see right here with the price tag, you're going to need to buy. Those will have either voices included with them so you'll be able to do duets, or it's just going to be a little bit more of a uh, popular instrumental that you're going to have to buy. And then there's some more original beats down at the bottom. And you can always just sing to any of those. You don't have to have a set um, type of lyrics. You can just rap to any of these, sing to any of these that you really want to, and your voice will come out sounding like T-Pain. Go to play and you'll have the select category of all the recordings that you've put onto your device. I only have this one which I'll be showing you in just a few seconds. And then more, go ahead and try and sell you some more applications and a couple more info and support help. So go back, play, save, but we're not going to be doing that right now. I'm not going to show you a recording, I will show you one of my previously recorded ones though. Turn the volume all the way up. And you might have to too on your computer because this is a little bit softer on my uh, external speakers from my iPod Touch. So there's an example. I did sing that just in a perfectly normal singing voice. I don't sound like T-Pain when I just open my mouth randomly. I did sing. You do have to put forth some effort into singing this, but really not too much, and then you will come out sounding just like T-Pain, or at least very similar and as close as you'll ever be able to. Um, nice feature about it, once you do record your audio, you can send it in an email um, if you want to actually listen to it on your computer, or you can publish it to your Facebook, MySpace, or Smule account if you want to actually listen to this with your friends. So, recommend to go check this application out. This is going to be my number three application, a very popular one for quite a while, still is, I am T-Pain. And my number two application for the top five is going to be called Snood, and if you're not sure what Snood is, it did get up into the top part of the paid section of the App Store for quite a while, and then it kind of just faded away into the App Store. Really sad about that too, because I have always love Snood. Um, this is a classic computer game. I'm sure some of you have seen this on your PC or Mac. I'm not sure if it was for Mac. I know it's for PC though. It's a classic computer game where you're going to be playing a puzzler very similar to Tetris where you have to match up certain snoods next to each other to actually um, destroy them and make them fall from the top of the screen but it's very simple gameplay with a very difficult twist because it is really really hard. Screen moves down on you and you don't have much time to destroy all these snoods. So anyway you have an update now for Snood the application where you can watch a demo when you don't want to, um, play with the new snoods that are included in this app, or play with the old snoods from the computer version. We're going to do that. Resume your hard difficulty classic game. And uh, no. So from this main menu you have a few options. Play, instructions which will explain you on how to play snood, I'm going to try and do my best right now, high scores which is local and online via Facebook, and then more EA games. Just go to play, few different options, you can use these snoods that we just selected to be the old type, and then difficulty medium, four different types of gameplay, classic, time attack, puzzle, and story. Let's just go through and we'll just do classic mode. Takes a few seconds to load, not between levels though, it does take a few seconds to load when you first start up, but other than that, you're pretty much going to be playing snood between levels really nice and easily. So, down at the bottom you have the next snood that is loaded in your target, which is going to be a blue snood. We don't have any of those in this bottom level, so let's just shoot it anywhere. Now we have a green one, also not anywhere. Just going to shoot it. But now we have a blue block, which the next blue block right there that will have a chain of three or more when I shoot this is going to be right there. So let's try and get this, and then all the ones falling on it will actually fall together. There we go. So right here, got another uh, chain of these guys. Shoot it. Very similar. And that's pretty much the entire application. I'm sure some of you guys can already pick up on the gameplay. Uh, this is... This is addicting, I'm telling you that right now. Um, this game, for the computer, I got it... Ah, volume stop, I'm sorry. Got this months ago, years ago, from my computer. And 
My mom still plays it pretty much every single night. So, yeah, this is going to be, I know my battery's slow, an addicting game. Um, so be warned when you go out and buy it because I still play this whenever I'm just bored, just doing nothing, watching TV, I'll start playing this. Um, so I do recommend to go get it. This is going to be called Snood. Fantastic transport from the PC to the actual uh, small device. I know it seems like it could be a little bit difficult to actually transport controls from a PC mouse onto a uh, small iPod Touch or iPhone screen, but they really did do a nice job with the whole touch control scheme. And due to a recent update that they just did in the App Store for this version of Snood, um, you do now have more accurate shooting controls and touch controls. So definitely a good time to go out and pick this up. This is going to be called Snood, my number two application in my top five. And my number one application for you guys, it was a recent one that I just reviewed and it is still in the top section of the paid part of the App Store, called Backbreaker. An awesome football application. This is going to be an unlicensed football application. No, you're not going to be buying this to actually play full quarter lengths of football. You're going to be doing this to see some of the best graphics on the iPod Touch and iPhone. Get some really, really fluid controls, amazing physics engine, and just a really all-around fun game. This is going to be called Backbreaker, and what you do is you are a ball carrier running up the field. You avoid different defenders trying to tackle you in the back by doing jukes and spin moves in super slow motion to see all of the fantasticness come together in this app. Um, you go through, get different bonuses so you can get the high scores, unlock new teams and jerseys and whatnot, and just have a blast playing it. It's really fun. Definitely recommend to go check this out, especially for such a low price tag. Um, so from here you have continue if you've already started. You have start if you haven't. High scores for endurance. There's also another gameplay called challenge, help, and then settings slash Facebook if you want to link it up through Facebook. Just go to start, and you do get to customize your character completely, changing the name, the skin tone of your character, the jersey number, something in between like 10 and 40 is the jersey numbers you can choose, and then you have a few different teams. I've already unlocked both the two special teams. You have the Assassins, Hawks, Pioneers, Tigers, Pirates, Cougars, Amberjacks is one you have to unlock, and then also the Wranglers is one you have to unlock play and then you have challenge and endurance challenge is going to make it so you have a few different levels to actually go through you have 10 different waves you're going to be trying to get through um, and every single time you get to those 10 waves you beat one of the five different challenges and there's only five you have to beat so 50 levels overall or the more popular one endurance starts you at wave number one and you work up to wave number 50 and yeah it takes a while so be prepared to actually start a little bit turn your device off and then come back and play it later it will save your uh, game but let me show you a few. So you're going to need to tilt forward to actually control your person to run. And as you see, it does work with the accelerometer, left, right, sprint, and then here's the controls at the bottom. I'm going to do a left spin. And there you go. Now I can just do my showboating all the way into the end zone. So there you go, that is wave number one, and as you progress through, you will get more defenders trying to kill you at the same time, they will become faster and stronger, um, you're going to have barriers, so you're not going to be able to have the full 40 yards to go across, you're going to have to actually have to uh, stay within different boundaries, much narrower boundaries on the field. Um, there's going to be different bonus patches that will come up on the ground, so you're going to need to hit certain spots on the field, and overall, it just becomes kind of a just pain to actually try and get through all this, but it's definitely worth it. Once you do beat all 50 uh, waves, it's definitely a nice little pride to have. Um, but anyway, that's the entire application. It seems simple. It is simple. It's a simple idea. It's really, really stellar graphics. Holy crap, where'd you come from? I don't know how I got out of that. Thought there were only two defenders. So anyway, I almost messed up on wave number three, but that's all I have for you guys in this top five. We're going to run through those one more time. My number five application for you guys and this is going to be app oh I already passed I'm sorry <laughs> not a very good run through app box pro that's my number five application my number four app for you guys is going to be snake galaxy my number three app for you guys is going to be IMT pain my number two app is going to be snood and my number one application for this top five is going to be backbreaker so I do recommend to go check out some of those applications if you don't want to go buy them at least go check out some more reviews out of them I have reviewed all of those in depth hopefully you guys enjoyed this review this top five I do have some applications set out for you guys though app review number 81 just a little uh, heads up App review number 81 will contain Rock Band. Yeah, it's a $10 application. I bought it immediately, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for my Rock Band. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day.